What's going on Genshin Impact players? We have finally reached the second half of the 3.0 patch, which is going to be two reruns and a new four star character. Now the banners have just officially dropped. I want to show you guys what's good and bad about these banners. Talk about whether or not you should pull on Ganyu or Kokomi rerun and just how good these banners are overall. As usual, you go over here, you go to notices and then over on the right side and down here we go. So we have our two character banners. We have our Kokomi banner and our Ganyu banner. They're both going to have the same four stars as they always do it's kind of weird that they're just slightly offset though like they're just slight like you guys see these characters moving when i switch these yeah it's a little weird anyways so we have ganyu and kokomi banner and on these are going to be dory sucrose and singchal now if you are a newer player watching this video this is a pretty straightforward answer these banners are very good sucrose amazing character singchal amazing character kokomi pretty dang good ganyu pretty dang good like you're th these are very good banners overall now i do want to talk about dory uh real quickly so dory is going to be the new character that not not everyone has access to because you're gonna have to pull her from this banner there's no other way to get her yet except for this banner it's gonna be the first way and if you don't know what dory does dory is a healer that is based on hp i can actually pull up her stuff right now dory's a support character who uses her electro vision to both heal teammates and help restore energy after dory casts her burst she summons forth the genie within the lamp that connects to a nearby character helping them regenerate energy and hp so basically the deal is that this character based on their burst is going to be a healer and and battery now if you're talking about electro batteries fischl is kind of the go-to character that you think of and fischl doesn't heal so this ideally is a way to battery one character maybe like eula who needs a lot more energy now however i cannot say in good faith that this character is going to bring you a lot of energy for their value likely they're going to have something insane like an 80 cost burst and likely they're not going to really generate that many particles i just don't see any possible way hoyaverse takes a character like this that can generate energy and heal and makes them uh on par with fischl in any sort of capacity right because they are trying to avoid uh power creeping or power matching a lot of existing characters and so with that said i kind of feel like dory is going to be a flop and that's just my opinion of her before release based on what we've seen obviously save your opinions till after she releases but off the bat i don't really have high hopes for the character i i don't know how good she's going to actually be for your team's meta wise i do i think she's going to be bad it's kind of hard to be bad when you generate energy and can heal so i think that in that way she will be a good character but whether or not she's a character that you should use over someone like like Fischl is going to probably it's probably not going to be a thing but anyways that's kind of enough about Dory uh for those of you who don't know Sucre is very very good in a lot of meta teams she's basically who people use instead of Kazuha in any given team composition she can use Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayers which is a book that when you switch off the character passes a huge attack buff to the next character so Sucre is very good for that Singchal gives you damage reduction a little bit of healing and a ton of extra damage and enables every single pyro character that is a main like pyro DPS in the game and is a decent high Hydro battery if you're looking for that and he can be played in freeze you should just you should try to have a sanctuary on your account like this character is a very good one to have and it's a good thing that these five stars are good too because kokumi when she first released people were shitting on her basically saying her damage is really bad but her burst means that she's supposed to be dealing damage when like in reality she can hold thrilling tales of dragon slayer she can hold prototype amber which helps battery your team uh, she can hold tenacity of the millilith which gives you a huge attack buff she can use ocean huge clam which can be extra damage on top of her already insane healing uh, her hydro applications also very very good she has really good uptime on her hydra application if you just use her burst and switch off of her and she's hp scaling so she's pretty cheap to build all of these sorts of things and now with dendro you can actually use her in fridge teams which is a whole nother archetype of, of team that you can use to just use like bloom damage and stuff very very good in freeze actually pretty decent in some vaporized setups depending on the character like she can be used with yomiya for example and overall she's very very good ganyu is just a top dps you, you know like you guys can argue aika or ganyu in the comments below Low. I don't really care that much. She's just good. And she deals a ton of damage in an area. She's also very good in freeze. She's a good freeze support. And she's a good reverse melter. So overall, like these character banners are just very good. All around, like these, these are very solid banners. The only thing that could be better is if Dory was replaced with someone like Fischl, then you quite literally have a variant of Taser. But hopefully Dory can be used for someone like Eula or uh, Xiao is going to be my best guess. For new players, uh, these, these banners are Omega value. If you're not a newer player, you may already have 
Sucrose and Sync Chow, you may already be at like a higher constellation with them. So this may be less value. Don't feel like you need to pull for these five stars. Ganyu's definitely pretty good, but Ayaka is also pretty good if you prefer that play style. Uh, Ganyu is definitely aim shot play style. So that's something you have to consider. Whereas Kokomi is also, you can play her on field in something like Taser, but you can also just play her off field as a support. So she's pretty versatile in that way, but you don't need either of them. They're both very good, but you don't, you don't need them. Okay. But unfortunately, unlike the character banners here, the weapon banner is like, it's so bad. It's, it's actually, it's so bad. Oh my God. Okay. So if you look on your left here, you'll see an Amos bow and an everlasting moon glow. Don't pull on this banner. Do yourself a favor. Avoid this banner. There's some there's some four star weapons that are pretty good, but both of these weapons are a loss. Even if you have Ganyu, you you don't need Amos Bow. You can use R5 Prototype Crescent, and that can basically almost match Amos Bow for Ganyu. Just hit a headshot. And I know it's you know easier said than done to get the prototypes, but I'm telling you, your wishes going into the weapon banner here are just not really worth it. Everlasting Moon Glow is just such a it's honestly such a bad weapon. Like. I wish I wish I could say it's not for Kokomi dealing damage on field. Sure, it's great, but Kokomi has so many other free to play friendly options. Thrilling Tales is a broken option for Kokomi. Uh, Prototype Amber is also a broken weapon for Kokomi, and it's honestly like pretty close. I think R1 Everlasting Moon Glow is like barely any more damage than Prototype Amber as well. So basically, this donut, this donut right here, you don't really want it. Amos Bow, like even if you do want the Amos Bow, it's a generally good weapon. You don't really need to get it off this banner because because it's in the standard banner you'll also get it if you lose your 75 25 here at some point and also for Ganyu specifically prototype crescent ends up being pretty good now you can look at rust sacrificial dragon's bane favonius and eye perception all of these four star weapons except for eye of perception are, are pretty good in one way or another i'm biased as a yomiya main i love rust rust is good on child and yomiya and it can be a decent stat stick for some characters like even for official just if you're looking for uh, like an attack weapon you don't want to build prototype crescent this is okay right but it's still not perfect it's not ideal and there's better options sacrificial sword is pretty good support all around weapon uh good on sync show very very good on sync show could be used on dendro mc as well dragon's bane very good weapon for reverse mount rosaria hu tao and shang ling there's also a couple other situations where you might use it but for now that's kind of like the main thing favonia's great sword is gonna be good for dory i can already tell you like there's no way they make a character without energy issues so also because she's gonna be a support and probably not dealing a ton of damage having a favonia's weapon on her is not gonna be a big deal so in general, these four stars are pretty good. Iron Perception is kind of a, a little bit of a trap, but like uh, if you have Yomiya or Child, Rust is pretty good. Sacrificial, Dragon Spain, and Favonius Greatsword all aren't bad. But in general, the five stars on the on the banner are just so bad. Like I I just don't do it. Don't do it. I'm I'm warning you. This is your warning. You can get out of this safely. You don't have to waste your primos here. You can you can escape with your sanity and everything. It can all be intact. You can walk away right now. Anyways, I guess the TLDR of all of this is that Ganyu and Kokomi are still very very good units and sucrose and sigtra are also basically just top units in the game as well and dory's probably not gonna be bad you know since dory doesn't exist in the game yet you are getting access to a new character if you happen to pull her so all in all the character banners are pretty dang good and i would say they're pretty decent value unfortunately the weapon banner is just such a, a mess and you should absolutely avoid it at all costs if you guys are new to genshin i hope you learned something from this video and if not uh well you know what thanks for watching anyways as always come check out the twitch if you guys want to hang out again in the future twitch.tv slash braxophone and i will catch you guys next time